What's up guys, KillerJ3 Awesome here, and welcome to part 1 of Let's Play Sonic the Hedgehog 2. So we're gonna do a new game, um, this game introduced Sonic's, uh, companion that would stay with him throughout the whole series, um, Tails or Miles Per Hour, as his real name is. Uh, you actually have the choice of going with either Sonic alone, Tails alone, or Sonic and Tails. I'm gonna be going with Sonic and Tails. So we're gonna start at uh, Emerald Hill Zone. A recurring theme throughout the Sonic series is um, the first mission. I keep saying mission. I even said this in the Sonic One LP. The first zone of almost every game is like a very um, grassy area, usually with the second word of the zone being hill. Not all the time, but sometimes. So um. I like, overall, I would say I like this game more than the first one. Um, I, I like the uh, color palette of the first one better, but the gameplay mechanics of this one are better. Uh, you have the spin dash in this one, like I was uh, saying at the end of the Sonic 1 LP. You get the spin dash, which is almost Sonic's signature move throughout the series. Um, it comes really in handy if he had had it in sonic one there's a lot of places that would have it would have really come in handy i hate when that happens uh those like they're monkeys that throw coconuts at you and you'll like kill them right as they're throwing a coconut and so the hit detection still gets you with the coconut and so you still get hurt so that sucks um the music in this game is so much better than in the first game. They they really found their footing with the music in this one. So um as the um as the zones in the first game had 3 acts each, this game only has 2 acts with with the exception of um Metropolis Zone which has 3. I cannot believe I just did that. Holy shit. So that was a Dr. Robotnik. He was in a car basically that had a spike on the front. And that is Emerald Hill Zone. So with the exception of Metropolis Zone in this game which has three acts and then um, the last three missions which um, have one act each. Um, all the other zones in this game have two acts each. So now we're at Chemical Plant Zone. The music of this one is absolutely amazing. I love this track so much. Another thing with the music is, um, like with the Sonic 1 music, I have most of it on my phone. There's some tracks that I don't have, but I, I love this one. And when we get to it later, um, the Wing Fortress Zone music is probably my favorite in this game. I, I, I love the Wing Fortress Zone music. That is such a good track. So here we have, um, Pipes, which basically, uh, takes Sonic in the direction it goes. We have a nice city background, um. We have these, uh, blocks that... They basically took from Starlight Zone from the first game. It says Sonic got through Act 1. It really should say Sonic and Tails got through Act 1 since I'm playing with Tails. If I was playing with Tails alone, it would say Tails got through Act 1. I almost debated only doing a uh, Sonic only run for this game, but I figured there's a lot of times in both this game and um, Sonic 3 where there's a lot of fails that can happen with Tails AI that um, in case one of them happens in this let's play, it'd be too good to pass up. So I decided, um, you know, why not? Although there are times where, like, um, especially on bosses, um, like, t 
Tails, let's say, will hit the boss, right? And so Sonic will be going to hit the boss. Tails will have hit him first, but uh, Robotnik will still be in, like, as if he just got hit. And so I'll, like, fall through him, kind of. If, if it happens, I'll point it out. It's kind of hard to explain, but especially on uh, this act, that would be really bad. Ah, here we go with the pink water. This is guaranteed the first time you play. This is going to kill you. You're gonna panic. It's it's like Labyrinth Zone. First time you play it, you're gonna panic. I never understood what made the water pink, though. I think, um... I think I got this game for the Sega Genesis when I was maybe five years old, so a couple years after I got the first game. Um, I never had this game on the Sega Genesis, like, alone on its own cartridge. I always had this one as, um... I, first of all, I always like to wait for this to come back. I don't like to use a spring, because I find it really risky. I never had Sonic 2 as its own cartridge for the Sega Genesis. I had it on, um, it was like some, um, and there you go. That was really easy. First of all, um, I never knew what the, uh, blue stuff was that he, um, tried to drop on you, but, um, basically the floor would collapse and if Tails hit him and then I tried to hit him, I would like fall through him and end up because if you fall through that floor that's an instant kill that's like you know a bottomless pit and um, there's so many things going on at once and there's so many things I want to say uh, first of all this is aquatic ruin zone where if you're good enough and you take the right paths you'll never hit the water that's at the bottom Although, I always end up somehow hitting it one way or another. So, I never had uh, Sonic 2 on its own cartridge. For the Sega Genesis. It was on a pack of three. Like a three in one cartridge. That had Sonic 1, Sonic 2, and um, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Which was a spin-off game that was... um, I haven't played it in years. Because I don't have it for any other platforms. And I don't have my Genesis hooked up. But um, if I remember right, I might be wrong on this. But I think remember it slightly being a tetris like game i i don't know if it was no not really tetris it was more like um how do i put it like bejeweled and stuff like that i think bejeweled actually came uh after but it's that kind of game you always want to watch out for the grounders that um come out of the They'll sneak up on you out of the walls there. And of course I fell. These sharks when I was uh, younger always scared me. So I, I practiced this a little bit before I started recording. Um, I definitely learned to um, camp the... Um, oh, I almost got... It's like I almost got crushed there, but it pushed me away. Anyways, if you're underwater in this one, um, you always want to make sure that you, um, camp a, uh, spawn or whatever for a bubble. I have no rings here, and I'm very nervous. Ooh, that was close with that one. So, we're already at the boss of Aquatic Ruin Zone. Basically, he's got this hammer, and... He will, every time he hits the, uh, hits the totem pole, it'll launch an arrow from one of the four mouths on that side. You want to use those as, um, ledges to get up to him. 
Although sometimes tails will um jump on it first and I guess make it fall. I never really had that happen to me, but I guess it could happen. So there's a couple of animations for Sonic when he's like on the edge of something, like he's about to fall. The one right here I always found hilarious. Where he's like all bug-eyed and all. Anyways, Casino Night Zone. So this is where um, the whole idea of gambling was introduced into the Sonic series. I actually, I didn't practice this level. So, not good. If I die. Oh yeah, um, this is also Sega Vintage Collection, so... The way that save states worked in the first one, uh, they work the exact same way here. You can save anywhere and everywhere, whenever you want. See, I mean, it's incredibly colorful. You've got all these, um, you got the spring balls, you've got these, um, literal springs that will take you places. You've got bumpers. It definitely looks like we're supposed to be in Las Vegas or something. In fact, if I could uh, get another ring and then hit a checkpoint, that'd be great. I realize I haven't showed off the special stages yet. They're way different from what they were in Sonic 1. No doubt about that. Alright, let's see what we get. All tails. I think that was about 20 rings it got there. Whatever combinations you get will depend the amount of rings you get. Um, you never want to get all three Eggmans. Or Robotniks, as he was called at this time. You never want to get that. I have so many continues. It's crazy. Alright. Hopefully this time I can get a... Get 50 rings so I can show off a special stage. Basically, if you cross a checkpoint, when you have 50 or more rings, there will be these stars that appear above the checkpoint. That, if you jump into them, you'll um, you'll go to the special stage. It's, it's not like you have to wait till the end of the level. Like Sonic 1, it could be any checkpoint. I'm playing it safe here. I don't generally like the lower routes in Sonic games. Because they're always the ones that... Uh, basically the lower the route... I don't remember if I said this in the Sonic 1 LP. But basically the lower the route is. The, um, the more dangerous it is. And the more time it's going to take. Also, another thing I know I didn't mention in the Sonic 1 LP, which applies to at least most of the Genesis Sonic games, I think. Um, you only have, if you see in the uh, top left, the timer. Right now it's at 123, 124. Uh, you only have 10 minutes to beat the mission. If you don't beat it in 10 minutes, you automatically die, and it comes up across the screen saying, Time Over. You do lose a life, but, um, you lose a life, but you start over at the last checkpoint you got, and you, ha you start at zero time again. So, really, the only penalty is you lose a life. I hope I can get a checkpoint. I really do. Yay. Alright. Now this is going to be extremely hard with Tails. Because, okay, basically it told us to get 40 rings. So we have to get 40 rings. The problem is, um, if you notice here, I'm controlling Sonic. And, uh, Tails, of course, is AI. But, um, 
if you notice he's behind me like like if i go right he goes right about a second after i do so when it comes time for the bombs that we're gonna be seeing later that's really bad because he's gonna end up losing rings for us I forget how many it said we needed total. I'm pretty sure whatever it was, we crossed it. Also, this was the game that introduced the seventh Chaos Emerald, since the first game only had six. Alright, we got that no problem. We had a quite a bit of wiggle room with the rings there. Alright, want as many rings as I can get here. Alright, so this Robotnik fight, basically he's um He's got electricity on the bottom of this thing. He'll, um, he'll launch spikes. Uh, you need to use the bumpers to get above him so that you can hit him. He will often, um... The... I'm trying to concentrate so it's hard to talk. Basically, the, um... I guess you could say the residue from the spikes that he drops... Oh, thank you so much, Tails, for grabbing that. That's the problem with this fight, is you will lose your rings fast if you're not careful. Oh, crap. Come on. No, you gotta get in your ball form. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, thank you so much, Tails. He's actually being quite a bit of a help in this LP. Alright, and with that, that is Casino Night Zone. Alright, so I'm going to end the part there. Um, thank you guys for watching part 1. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And next time we will do Hilltop Zone. So, until part 2, peace out.